of 13,947. The monster. We will start with the graded and the silver. We've got graded nine Santini. What are bad bets? Graded nine young guns of Santini. We've got a nine young guns of Robbie Russo. Red Wings. And an 8-5 Brandon Sod Artifacts rookie to 699. 699, yeah. Yeah, the Leafs, as I said, they just gotta get consistent. That's I think that's their biggest thing, but again, to be fair, they are tied for first in the NHL. You can't really complain too much. So. It's not exactly like they uh, they suck that much. We've got for the Carolina Hurricanes newcomers of Hayden Flurry. Hayden Flurry. We've got a die cut MVP for the Dallas Stars, Johnny. Oh, do ya? Johnny, oh, do ya? We've got for the Avalanche, number to 50, Jeff Finger. Jeff Finger. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets, Shifley Exceptional Talent. For the Oilers, Rainbow Base of Hemsky. Alish Hemsky. For the Minnesota Wild, fire on ice number to 25 of Granlin. You know the other fun fact I uh, I saw I think earlier today that Freddie Anderson is tied for third in goalie wins this year. We've got an impact players number to 26. Mike Bossy for the Islanders. Impact players number 26, Mike Bossy. So for those that say that Anderson sucks, I feel like it's a pretty good stat. We've got a Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. And a 199 acetate root or ticket access, Alex DeBrincat. One off the jersey number for Chicago, Alex DeBrincat. Did you? What'd you get? Top 50 for the Coyotes of Barrett Hayton. Farabee for the Flyers. Grundstrom for the Kings. And a red rookie of Makar for the Avalanche. But realistically, is his playoff record honestly that bad? And number to 457, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. For the Oilers. Are his numbers honestly that bad? And the reason I say that is because I believe the last... I am gonna. I might be wrong in this, so if someone wants to correct me, that'd be great. I believe the last four years, we've gone to either Game 7 or Game 5, as in like the last year with Columbus. So realistically, it's only one extra win or loss per year. Is it not correct? Kool-Aid must be strong. I, I'm just saying though, Jamie, in all honesty, how many like his win-loss record is not that far off, is it? Marky rookie of Hayden for the Coyotes.
Marky, rookie of Carson Twarinski for the Flyers. Because we lost a five against Columbus. We lost a seven, what, two or three times to Boston. Stud Nika, young guns for the Boston Bruins. Stud Nika. Portrait rookies of Murs Lickens for the Jackets. Suban for the New Jersey Devils. Marky Rookie for the Devils of Bulkfist. We've got a rookie of Ferraro for the Sharks. Yeah, I know, Jamie, you and the other uh, one person who hates Freddy, which wouldn't be surprised if it's the same person. We've got a Young Guns of Farabee for the Flyers. I, I wouldn't say Anderson's terrible in the playoffs. Are his numbers honestly that much worse in season? And this is a sick box. Young Guns Canvas. Shesterkin for the Rangers. I actually love Jack Campbell. I actually think uh, I actually think he'd probably be better full time. Only difference with J Jack Campbell is I don't know how he would do if he played every game or most games. For the Buffalo Sabers, Olafson. The funny thing is, what I'm what I'm trying to get at though, in all honesty. Hand Olaf for the Jets. Glossy and a Hayton for the Coyotes. Is if we won any of those game sevens or game fives, would the narrative at all have changed for Anderson? In my opinion, I feel like people who just hate Anderson hate Anderson for no reason. And if I remember correctly, which honestly I might be 100% wrong on this, so you guys can call me out if I'm wrong. I pretty much, I thought we only scored one or zero goals against Columbus in game five last year. I feel like you need to score in order to win. Canvas of Kyle Connor for the Jets. Young Guns for the Buff, or Ottawa Senators, Rudolph Balsers. The nature of that is somewhat true. My point is, is if the Leafs get to the second or third round this year, do people sit there and not say anything about Freddie, or is he still a bum? OV for the Caps? That's what I'm wondering. We've got a Shining Stars Red, or Shooting Stars Red of Bennington. Because I do agree, it's exactly like UFC and fighting. You're only as good as your last fight. You could win ten in a row and then lose the next one, and you apparently suck. So what I'm wondering is if they make the second or third round, does Freddie get any credit or is it still he completely sucks? Mario Ferraro for the San Jose Sharks Young Guns. Canvas of Schmaltz for the Coyotes. Portraits rookies for the Habs of Paling. Frederick Olossi for the Boston Bruins. I can bank on it. Texier Glossy for the Blue Jackets. Anna Grundstrom for the LA Kings. I feel like this year they could get to second round in all honesty. I feel like any of the Canadian teams they could beat. I'll do these. Now, I don't know how Toronto would do against like the likes of Tampa's, you know, Islanders and those guys right now. Lafreniere, craps of dual young guns. But I do feel like we could beat, uh, we can go past the first round this year.
This is probably their easiest path out of all the years following, so. Portrait of Bergeron, Boston Bruins. Dazzlers of Barzol for the Islanders. Well, even even uh, aside from this year, because I do think this is their best year, I hate the way the system is. Because I feel like with Boston and Tampa of how good they are, I feel like it's a very unfair. Because Toronto and I think, what, what year was it? That Toronto was number three in the entire conference, and we still end up playing Boston, who was number two in the entire conference. I never understood those kind of rankings. I feel like it's such a weird system. Victory rookie of Letty for the Hawks. Young Gun of Nick Bonino, Anaheim Ducks. I don't think they'll need a major shakeup, but I do think they would get rid of Anderson. Because what the heck do you do with our team? How do you shake it up? Victory of Raycroft for the Dallas Stars. You ain't getting rid of Matthews or Marner. Probably not going to get rid of Tavares. Maybe Nylander is the only one you actually get rid of. Bobby or Boston Bruins hockey heroes. But I definitely think some defensemen and goalie for sure. Zidlicky anniversary for the Minnesota Wild. And a Terramina for the New Jersey Devils. Victory rookie. I, I, I love the one versus eight. I think it's more fair. Linus Klassen Young Guns anniversary for the Nashville Predators. And a Bernier for the Panthers. I just never understood the logic in the first round why two and three play against each other. I just honestly don't understand how that's even remotely a fair system. Whether the Leafs are in that two or three. I'm saying for any team, why, if you are working all the way, like it's better to finish fourth at that point then. Cross ball for the Rangers. Anniversary and a Winnick for the Avalanche. Victory. We got a Young Guns for the Chicago Blackhawks of Morin. Jeremy Morin. The Kraken draft. Victory rookie of Brody for the Calgary Flames. And La Base. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know they wanted to create rivalries, but I feel like that doesn't really create much different rivalries. Actually, I'll save that one to the end. <clears throat> like if, if next year, for example, Toronto plays Tampa in the first round, that's not a rivalry. Like, our guys, our rivalries are always are going to be the same team. Boston, Montreal, Detroit, San Jose, Brent Burns, red. Carolina, blue of Skinner. Impact players of Zabinijad, or sorry, McDonough for the Rangers. Victor Mete for the Montreal Canadiens, red rookie. Calgary Flames, blue. Exceptional talent, Buffalo Sabres of Nylander. Yeah, I don't think the Toronto Maple Leafs could even do a massive shakeup in all honesty, which would kind of suck. Penguins, Crosby, red. New Jersey Devils, blue. A brother. Impact players of Doughty. And then Nylander I could see go. Anderson I could see go. And a few other small components. But Alex Formenton for the Ottawa Senators, red rookie. McDavid for the Oilers, blue. And a career spanning... Between Chicago and Detroit. New Jersey Broder. Their third goalie. I, I hope we lose Hutchison. Please. Force back a Carlson for the Boston Bruins. 
And we got an exceptional town of Hosang for the Islanders. Juice for the Caps. We've got a green for the Golden Knights of Flurry. Like I said, I'm never, I'm never gonna be the one that massively defends uh, career spanning of Lemieux for the Penguins. Anderson, I think he definitely lets in a uh, fair amount of soft goals. Blues, red of Tarasenko. But I definitely don't think he's the only problem we have, or even a major problem. Carter Rowney for the Penguins. Green rookie. And impact players of McKinnon for the Avs. Detroit can have the hashtag card. Perfect, no worries. Thank you. San Jose Sharks, Brent Burns. Red. Carter Rowney. I don't know if that's a purple version. I think it might be a purple version, yeah. Apologize, guys. Color kind of blends for me. I think that's a purple rookie, so that's pretty rare. And we got a newcomers of Debrinkat for the Hawks. All right. As I, I always know there's a lot of Leaf haters, and that's completely cool and fun. But at the end of the day, if any of those game fives or sevens, if the Toronto Maple Leafs end up winning them, it would have been a completely different narrative. Marky Rookie of Lappin for the Devils. So, it is what it is. Canvas of Fabry for the Blues. Young Guns for the Islanders. Matthew Barzel. And then when the Leafs eventually do make the second round and they get knocked out, then people will say, hey, the Leafs never make the third round. It's going to happen. Random of Marner Line A. Dual Young Guns for the Jets and the Leafs. Then when Toronto wins a cup, God knows when that'll be. It'll be while well, they've only won one cup in 60 years. Rask for the Carolina Hurricanes. Canvas. Young Guns of Montour for the Anaheim Ducks. Red Wings Vanek Retro. That's what I love about sports. is never an ending talking for anything. Zabinishad for the Rangers. Canvas. Does anyone know what happened with the Ottawa Senators goalie, by the way? Honka Marky rookie for the Dallas Stars. I saw them talking about it. And it looks like he just went to the dressing room. Does anyone know what happened? Any Sens fans? Portraits for, of Lindgren for the Habs. Young Guns Canvas. Thomas Shabbat. Young Guns Canvas. Thomas Shabbat. Young Guns of Charlie Lindgren for the Montreal Canadiens. Young Guns of Tyler Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. Portraits for the Maple Leafs of Zaitsev. Nobody knows what happened to the goalie. Marky Rookie, Braden Point, Tampa Bay. Vanek update for the Red Wings. Always dislikes. Portraits of Mott for the Hawks. I love it, card. It's always the uh, same people, and you guys said it's always fun. <clears throat> Game jersey, Camilleri. It's never a bad thing, I told you that. It's never a bad thing. We're just getting paid attention to, and I don't mind that. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Tom Kunuckle for the Penguins. Julius Honka for the Dallas Stars. Retro. Drake Kajula for the Oilers. Portraits. 
Dickinson for the Dallas Stars, Young Guns. With a potato. Marky, rookie of Provra for the Flyers. I love that one. The potato. Good old potato cam. That's a retail, so there is base packs. I always forget that. Lindstrom, young guns for the Red Wings. Irish camera. Portrait of Kemper for the Coyotes. What's up, Mr. Golden? How you doing, sir? Reed Duke. Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Le base. Land home for the Calgary Flames canvas. Wait, who won last night? I think the Habs lost, did they not? Or did they win? Ma Mitch Marner for the Leafs. Or did they come back and win? Or? Young Guns, Nick Robertson. Portraits, rookies of Bellows for the Islanders. Young Guns, Connor Ingram. Golden, did you guys win last night or no? I legit don't know the score. That's what I was wondering. Di Pietro, Young Guns for the Canucks. Young Guns Canvas of D. Pietro. Vancouver. Oh, you guys lost? Yandel for the Panthers Canvas. Game jersey of Adrian Kempe, LA Kings. We were just horrible. I feel like the, the Habs have the Leaf Syndrome. They're just very inconsistent. Some games they look unstoppable, and some games they just look like they don't even want to play. I don't know why that is, but... Young Guns of Benson for the Oilers. Portrait for the Boston Bruins of Pasternak. Dazzlers, Huberto for the Panthers. Canvas of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Jake Evans for the Montreal Canadiens, Young Guns. Carey Price to Montreal. I don't even think Toronto could even remotely come close to affording him, could they? And yeah, we got a piece of a card. Hmm, cool. Doesn't he earn like $10 million a year or something crazy? For Matthews. <laughs> Matthews is definitely not going to get traded. He may walk. He would not get traded. 
The only way they would trade him is they think that he's going to walk. <laughs> For the Coyotes of Carcillo. Carcillo auto facts. Ten and a half. Jeez. Is he the highest paid goalie then right now? We've got a rookie to 9-9 of Valabek for the Winnipeg Jets. Boris. That deal would still not make any sense for the Leafs, even if they ate that much uh, value. We've got number to 100 for the Rangers. Henrik Lundqvist. Like, for Nylander, I could see something like that. We've got number to 50, dual jersey of Paul Correa for the St. Louis Blues. <laughs> you don't like Matthews, Golden? He does nothing wrong. Other than score goals against your team, but for the Habs, the nine and nine Patrick Wah. Price is the highest paid. Wow. Who's number two? Bobrovsky, Vasilevsky, Michael Hutchison. We've got a dual jersey to seventy-five for the Panthers. Bo Meester and Bo Coon. Bob. Is he having an okay year this year, or is he uh, pretty bad? Rookie of 9-9, Nicholas Charmelson. Ah, uh, card, yeah. I can, well, you don't know what numbers we have left. Or maybe you can see them. Oh, no, you can't. But yeah, if you want, once, uh, once it's there, I can let you know a number. Stars of Harding for the Minnesota Wild. That was a big hit between those two. I'm glad uh, none of them are hurt. I'm hoping none of them are hurt. For the Winnipeg Jets, number to 100 dual jersey of Ilya Kovalchuk. Ilya Kovalchuk. And a rookie redemption. 303, we'll find out who that is. Did Matthews get a point again uh, in the first? Highlight of the night. I didn't see. Did he get a point on the first goal? I don't know, Van. Honestly, for me, the highlight last night was that... Uh, who scored that goal? Vancouver goal. Nathan Gerby, nice. 99 Makar Emerald for the Avalanche. When they were plowing it in the goalie, there's like a 10 second scrum in front of the net. That was pretty cool. Buffalo Sabres rookie redemption. Surprised that card's not on fire right now in my hands. We've got an LA Kings dual jersey to 175, Jonathan Quick. He did get an assist. I missed like 90% of the hockey game, so I apologize if I don't know. Number to 599, Josh Norris. Josh Norris. Ninety nine Gusev for the Devils. Wild card number 218. off for the Rangers. Vitali off. For the Blue Jackets, 175, Seth Jones. Seth Jones. So the playoffs is here. Is it each division plays one versus four, two versus three? Is that correct? 
And a quad jersey of Kopitar Quick Dowdy Carter, number to 99 LA. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So Toronto could be playing Montreal, eh? So I, I'm rooting for Toronto to... That'd be sweet. That would be sweet. Man, the viewership in that series would be mind-blowing. Soderberg for the Coyotes. Update. Crosby for the Penguins. Update. I have no idea, honestly, card, how that works. I legit don't. Tro check. Limited red for the Panthers. Dobson winners for the Islanders. Like, have they announced in the playoffs if there's going to be a bubble then or moment of McDavid for the Oilers when the Canadian team's got to go to the U.S. or something? Young Guns of J.C. Baudin for the Sens. Oh, really? Okay. Spectrum Future Watch of Dimitro Timoshov. Kyle Turris, red for the Nashville Predators. How much does RPA sell for the cup ones? Barzal Spectrum for the Islanders. If you're talking about the cup, it's about two or three grand, roughly. We've got a Future Watch Retro Rookie Auto. Quinn Hughes, three ninety nine. Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. <laughs> Excuse me. How hard is it for thirteen fourteen cut? Near impossible. Literally near impossible. Future Watch Auto for the Canucks. Breeze Bois. Pretty much any older cup right now is damn near impossible to find. And if you do find it, it is absolutely bloody expensive. SP Essentials of Alex Debrinket for the Hawks. SP Essentials of Carey Price for the Habs. Do you guys think if Toronto is somewhat of a lock, uh, let's say with 10-15 games, moment of paling for the Habs? Do you think they would sit Matthews to rest his uh, wrist? Taylor Hall update for the Coyotes. Tarasenko Red Limited for the Blues. Patrick Kane for the Hawks. All-star update. Moments of OV for the Caps. Well, nobody uh, could have predicted the influx of new collectors in our industry over the last year or so. So, 10 years from now, I don't even know what's going to happen in two years from now. If all the, if we get more and more and more collectors coming in, prices are only going to go up. If everyone starts leaving, prices will go back to where they were. I legit have no idea which direction it's going to go straight up. I hope it keeps growing. I really do hope it keeps growing, but I would not be surprised either way it goes. Young Guns, Keegan Low, Carolina.
Shining Stars of Luongo for the Panthers. Ciao, ciao. Fowler for the Ducks. Hopefully the drive home is not disappointing. Nothing. Young Guns for the Blues. Joel Edmondson. St. Louis Blues. Wow. What are we wowing? Young Guns Jordan Wheel. I can't wait till you can go to a sports game. I don't care which one at this point. Canvas of Burns for the Sharks. How many penalties has Toronto had tonight? Voracek for the Philadelphia Flyers portraits. John Tavares portraits for the Islanders. You can't afford Leafs, so yeah. Yeah, they ain't cheap. I'm gonna do the other ones first, by the way. I'm gonna do the other breaks of Leaf Premier with Premier. Every time I look up, I feel like Ottawa's on a power play. Has Toronto even had a power play this game yet? So unfair. We've got for the Calgary Flames. Mika Kiprasov. I honestly don't know. Like, it's one of those things. I have no idea what direction the hobby is going to go. Like, products right now are skyrocketing in, in price. There's a lot of products I never thought that would ever get to the prices they're at now. But they're there. We've got a Dallas Stars, Scott Glennie. Scott Glennie. For the Buffalo Sabres, 99 ink sweaters, jersey auto. Focus, Cody Hodgson. Cody Hodgson. We've got a Team Fabrics patch number to 35, Chris Pronger. Chris Pronger. And we've got a Jersey, Bobby Ryan. How many goals does Drake Batherson have this year, by the way? I feel like he's scoring a lot. Or is it just a lot lately? <laughs> wow, there goes my knife. Tenth goal? Oh, that's not bad, eh? We've got an orange of Malkin for the Penguins. Ice Premier's jersey, Nico Sturm. Uh, the Pronger card, 12-13. Who was Pronger playing for in 12-13? Rangers, uh, Truba Green. And for the Maple Leafs, Sub-Zero, Rasmus Sandin. Sandin. Was it Philly? Yeah, I thought it was Philly as well. We've got a Chicago Blackhawks, Taves Green, and a 99 Chicago Blackhawks, exquisite 
Bernie Nichols. Bernie Nichols. 11 12 was his last season. All right. Well, then who was it? Who was it going to? Oh. Matthews Green for the Leafs. And a 9.99 Joaquim Nygaard. Yeah, I, I was going to say Batherson again, eh? He's rocking it out. Batherson had it tonight. Green Giroux for the Flyers and a four ninety nine Max Jones for the Ducks. Most games of St. Louis, so it's a St. Louis Blues card then. What's uh what's Batherson's contract like? For the Penguins, Yarmer Yager. Yarmer Yager. Boston Bruins, Tuka Rask. Camera is not in a focusing mood today. Maybe if I shift it. For the Nashville Predators, Colin Blackwell. One off his jersey number. Blackwell. For the Dallas Stars, a 149 green Ben Bishop. Wow, what a good deal. Last year of deal or no? For the Dallas Stars, a 75. Mike Modano. Mike Modano. For the Red Wings, 199. Taro Harosi. It's amazing what that last year of a contract can do to people, eh? And for the Oilers, esteemed of McDavid. Like, legit. Why is it always last year of contract players play mind-blowingly good? For the Nashville Predators, Pekka Rene. Pekka Rene. Well, you said ain't nothing, but it's Toronto's already scored. <laughs> I don't think they're going to allow eight, but I would not be surprised at six. Eight would surprise me. Mind you, Toronto likes pulling out absolute awesome performances or absolute god awful performances. So it's one or the other. Did I say Jeff Skinner? Yeah. That's funny. For the Coyotes, 3 to 9, Chitron. Uh, well, Van, if he gets. In my opinion, if he gets like 25, 30 goals this year, Morgan Riley, Jersey for the Leafs, I definitely think he's going to be in the 5, 6 million area. Four million would be an absolute steal. Steal for a guy who's like 30 goal score potential. Yarmar Yager, Jersey for the Panthers. Yarmor Yager. And we've got a white out auto. Kyle Paul Mary. New Jersey. You know what? I don't know if the Toronto's as tired of what it is, but they have looked god awful since the Edmonton. I didn't even like their play. Uh, actually, I'll do this one first. I didn't like their play when they played uh, Winnipeg at all. Any of their games. And tonight's also proving that they, they're sucking. They're not. Uh, they're looking very tired and just very 
non-caring. But it is what it is. Who knows? For the Buffalo Sabres, Jack Eichel. Jack Eichel. For the Coyotes, Nick Merkley. Nick Merkley. For the Carolina Hurricanes, a 2.99, Hayden Fleury. It's sad because like those games in Edmonton, they looked phenomenal. Chris passing, Chris everything, and then they just they look like amateur team after that. This is a beautiful card, numbered three of six. Mega patch shoulder logos. Nikita Kucherov. Three of six. Kucherov. We've got a magnificent marks of Connor Sheary. For the Penguins. Wow, that's a good pack. We've got a rookie neckline tag for the Carolina Hurricanes, number to 12 of Alex Nedeljovic. Nedeljovic. And we've got a Boston Bruins force back Carlson. Golden, I feel like that's the same for any team, though. Anything that happens, people get jacked up about. Then it doesn't go the way they want it. Then they get very sour about it. Remember when Babcock was the Leaf savior? We've got for the Dallas Stars, Jason Dickinson. Dallas Stars. Carolina, 249, Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner. Team Logo Jumbos, John Carlson. Team Logo Jumbos. We've got a diamond, or sorry, jersey booklet rookie auto, Sonny Milano for the Blue Jackets. All right, what about Shanahan then? When any of these guys came in, you knew, like, everyone felt like it was going to be something special. I, I feel like this is any, any team that has that, you just have hopes. You just want to see progression. For the Islanders, relics, maybe glove. I don't know if they did a jersey that short printed. John Tavares, number to 35. And rookie gems of Dickinson to three to nine for the Dallas Stars. Sorry, Golden, you think the Babcock thing? You said everyone outside of Toronto knew that wasn't going to end well? See, that's interesting because Babcock, I still think, is one of the better coaches out there. And he did a lot to help improve. I just feel like it ran out with the, tr like, uh, the young kids and Toronto. I feel like that's just not the, uh, the industry anymore. For the Calgary Flames, 199 exquisite rookie patch, Sam Bennett. That's pretty slick. Sam Bennett. Enjoy the hiccups. For the Dallas Stars, say again. I don't. I don't know. I think he did a very. I think he did a good job. We've got a team logo jumbos rookie, Jack Eichel. Did he not break the record for most points in the year for Toronto, or something close to that, or something, or wins, or? I 
feel like you did pretty well. We've got a 249 signature placards. Kevin Fiala. 249 signature placards. Kevin Fiala. A dual rookie jersey booklet for the Coyotes. Max Domi. Max Domi. The funny thing is, Golden, I was at Babcock's last game in Vegas. And it was hilarious and I felt bad because I felt like that was one of the hardest games Toronto's played. 399 Poirier for the Flames. It looked like Toronto somewhat gave up on Babs. And I remember when I was at that Vegas game, I legit feel like that was one of Toronto's best efforts they've done for like months and months and months. And then they canned Babcock. And I think we lost that game pretty, like it was a close game if I remember correctly. But that was a game with Fleury making that ridiculously awesome save. I honestly, I'm a big Jack Campbell fan. For the Capitals, Marcus Johansson. I don't know if he's full time number one starting good enough all year, but I love Jack Campbell. San Jose 299, Timo Meyer. Uh, he also comes across as a guy that people, like in the change room, he would be a really good teammate to have. For the Devils, the 299, Pavel Zaka. Rookie patch auto. Oh, I sold that literally probably like a month after I opened it. That Crosby. Triple jersey, which would be random between Chicago, Coyotes, and the Habs. The 75, Keith Larson Weber. Is there any even number one goalies available next year? That's nice. Autograph number to 25 for the Rangers, Henrik Lundqvist. Lundqvist, number to 25. And Freddie Anderson, number to 199 for the Maple Leafs jersey. I was going to say, what is, uh, if we do lose Freddy, who, who do we go after then? Or what do we even possibly do? Flurry? Well, I would not mind Flurry. I don't know how old he is. I'm sure he's getting up there in age, is he not? But. For the Habs, Charles Houdon, rookie jersey. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Brock McGinn. Brock McGinn. For the Islanders, John Tavares. John Tavares. Luongo. <laughs> Number six of 15. Gold rookie patch auto for the Habs. Jacob Delarose. Golds are very hard to get in this. Delarose out of 15. We've got number to 25 rookie materials. It looks like a stick piece. Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett. For the Montreal Canadiens, Foo Cali. Foo Cali signatures. Whatever happened to Fucali? And we got a Wheeler 199 for the Jets. Did he just kind of fizzle out to nothing? 
Or is he still somewhat of a maybe he could have some sort of hope? Or is he uh, completely just see you later, you're gone? Oh, a year up, really? Wow. All right. Ooh, we've got a 249 Roman Yossi. Nashville Predators, 249 Roman Yossi. Let's see. What do you see, Paul? What trade do you see making? We've got a 249 rookie patch auto of Myers for the Flyers. Myers for the Flyers. Number, that's a decent uh, patch. Number to 53, exquisite rookie patch auto, Teddy Bluger. Teddy Bluger, nice patch. For the Red Wings, 1718 base gold auto, Dylan Larkin. Out of 12, gold autograph. For the Montreal Canadiens, a 99 Rookie Foundations quad, Ryan Paling. Paling. And we got a New Jersey Devils, Gusev to 249. I'm just happy that the uh, Kaprizov starting to crush it. Well, not starting to, but nice little Hattie. Perfect timing for Series 2 Young Guns. I love that part. Again, I honestly, to go on the Anderson conversation, I don't think Anderson's honestly the problem. Again, he still is getting pretty much the most amount of shots on average per goalie. That stat alone should tell you that's very unacceptable. I'm not saying he's a genius or a great goalie or the world's best goalie. But I just feel like it's a very unwarranted hate of him. 249, Louis Erickson. I'm pretty sure the last like two or three years he's led goalies for most shots against. 249, Chase DeLeo. For the Winnipeg Jets. Like our D zone the last couple years has been absolutely god awful. For the LA Kings. To 99, Jake Muzzin. That's a beautiful patch. Jake Muzzin. Brilliance Auto Vinny Damfus. San Jose Sharks. Wow, that's, uh, that's a decent one. We've got a rookie auto printing plate for the Flyers, Travis Konechny. Obviously expired, but that'd be a decent uh, expired redemption. And a solid finish. Signature renditions from the 15-16 cup year. Nathan McKinnon for the Avalanche. 